Greetings, people of cyberspace. Need space, possibly too. Welcome to this long-awaited follow-up to the Wellington Harbour curvature test. I'd planned to test the curvature between Wellington's west coast and Kapiti Island, but I found out that to do it properly I'd have to get up really early to get the right light. After weeks of trying to work up the gumption for an early start, something occurred to me. I remembered a local legend I'd heard a while back, but dismissed as nonsense. Rumour has it that on a clear day, with everything in the sky just right, you can see all the way to the South Island, and that's much further and much bigger than we Kapiti Island. So I decided to take a drive around the Wellington coast with my camera and a couple of lenses to test this legend out. I'm going to show each place I drive to in Google Earth and take a few photos so you, you know it all checks out. So here we are zooming into Orfedo Bay. First stop is that's the closest point in Wellington to the South Island that can be accessed with a regular vehicle. And those mountains I think are the South Island. Let's see if we can see them through the camera. Yeah, that looks to be a mountain over there. And through my telephoto lens. My god, it's a South Island. It's a pretty big mountain, that one. I wonder how far away it is. We'll check that out later. Now off to Island Bay, the west side of Island Bay. Very imaginatively named by the conquering Europeans who the Māori called Pākehā, which translates roughly to white pigs. Very apt, but I will say this, the Māori did a whole lot better than most indigenous cultures. The dirty Pākehā didn't know what they got themselves in for when they came to New Zealand. And I think that's the same mountains over there. And yeah, I got my trusty compass. just. Uh, so you guys know I'm not lying and look I even got footage, a panorama of our lovely southern coast. And there's that mountain again. And my photo of the mountain. And off we go to the east side of Island Bay. The Māori called that island Tapu Teranga and it's said to be Patua which is kind of like sacred. Okay, that looks to be those same mountains again. And it's my picture of them. The scenic spot, Island Bay, and it's the uh, ferry going to the South Island. Okay, now across the harbour to Days Bay. Just crossing over Soms Island here our local leper colony. Every good city's got one. Got to contain those lepers. Here we are, the Days Bay Wharf. And yep, that looks to be the same mountains behind uh, the peninsula there. And um, yeah, I, uh, I, this was completely on purpose, left the camera on just uh, so you guys know that I am actually at the jetty. Completely on purpose. And my trusty compass pointing to that same mountain by the look of it. Let's go check out these mountains. Okay, zooming out and over the South Island. They're a bit further away than I thought. Yeah, that's quite a distance. That's Oh, 93 and 81 miles. I had no idea they were that far. Okay, I found this um, on the web. It's to help measure curvature and it takes into account the height above sea level that you're measuring from. As you can see, the 12 feet that corresponds to the height on the jetty that I took these photos. Well, so from the Days Bay Wharf, Anakau should be obscured up to 1604 meters. So that only leaves a thousand meters that we should be seeing, but it seems we can see pretty much all the way down to sea level. 
that's a whole mile which should be obscured by the horizon. I don't think we're seeing that. Let's go back to those first shots we took at Ofido Bay because one of those has got a perfect profile um, missing the mountain to the right a little bit but we should be able to figure out what's what. Check this out, I'll end the video with this, make up your own mind. When the night